Asia's world city, a financial capital, a shopping epicenter. These are just some of the ways people describe Hong Kong. But in this day trip, I'm going to take you to a serene, breathtaking, and a relatively relaxing tour to one of the world's greatest cities. From open parks to ocean view, all the way to a sacred destination. Join me as we explore another side of Hong Kong. My name is Lex Bonifant. This is Lex Go. As a traveler, I treasure quiet, open spaces. So for this trip, I start my day at the nursery park in West Kowloon. Not many tourists come to this area as the place is under development. But this vast, uncrowded park is already open to give you a stunning view of the skyline across Victoria Harbor. Bike rentals are available, or if you love to walk to new places just like me, you'll be fine exploring the expansive views and green areas of this park, which is envisioned to be the next cultural district of Hong Kong. Cruising the Victoria Harbor is the easiest way to surround yourself in the urban landscape of this expensive city. This body of water is Hong Kong's lifeline. The busy water vessels are at the heart of the city's economy. And the beautiful skyscrapers are monuments to its success. I took the ferry ride that will take me to Discovery Bay for a relaxing oceanfront dining and strolling. The place is a dining destination offering mountain views and the sea. And in here, evenings become romantic as you can readily enjoy the nightly fireworks from the neighboring Disneyland. And now, it's time for me to immerse myself at the heart of Hong Kong Island. And my next stop is Diamond Hill, a lovely place of culture and history. This area is home to two treasured destinations. One is a beautifully sacred place, and the other one is a tranquil park. The Chi Lin Nunnery is a Buddhist complex created with breathtaking architecture made of wood. And what's amazing about the structure is that no nails were used in building this temple. This design philosophy of not using a nail is a statement that man should always be in harmony with nature. This nunnery is a serene place adorned with lotus ponds, bonsai, and bougainvillea. When you're lucky, you will see nuns offering prayers, fruits, and rice to Buddha and his disciples. One enters the complex through the Sam Moon, a series of three gates representing the Buddhist precepts of compassion, wisdom, and skillful means. A few steps down the stairs, right in the middle of crowded high-rise apartments, is a tranquil park called Nan Lian Garden. Built in the style of Tang Dynasty, the area is meticulously landscaped and features permanent exhibitions of Chinese timber architecture, rocks, and potted plants. For many people, Hong Kong is one of the best places for shopping. So I decided to end my day in a unique and historical street famous for antiques, arts, and cultural pieces. The Upper Lasker Row, or more famously known as the Cat Street. Walking along the street, I was secretly hoping for cat stores or maybe stray cats all around, but I was disappointed. The area earned its nickname because at some point, it was known for stolen goods. In Cantonese, stolen items are called rat goods, 
and the people who buy them are called cats, hence its nickname, Cat Street. Hong Kong is a place of diversity, a mix of culture and sophistication, a land of distinct taste as well as tradition. Whatever you prefer as a traveler, there is always a place for you in a global city like Hong Kong. Please subscribe to my channel and thank you for joining me in this trip. This is Lexco.